In the early 1940s, Lloyd O'Brien was a young man living and working in Vancouver. In 1944, when Lloyd was just 18 years old, he lost his leg in a serious industrial accident. From that experience and the emergency medical care he received, Lloyd realized there was a critical need for ambulance services. When a neighbor offered him a job as a part-time ambulance driver in Burnaby, he jumped at the opportunity. And that's how I got into the ambulance service. Originally, and I worked approximately five years part-time. The sad part, we had very little training other than training on the job. And you had to know a little bit first aid, but very little. June 17th, 1958. Lloyd was at home when the dispatcher called. We need you right away. We need you, you know, take the other meteor ambulance. Uh, the second narrow bridge has collapsed. He rushed to the scene. A fellow there that I knew by the name of Lloyd Moffat, and he, uh, so when he seen me going out, he said, find out where Percy is, who was his brother, who was a very good friend of mine. Lloyd had the grim task of taking bodies to the morgue. So um, when I went, when we went to unload them, oh, there was a, uh, Percy, you know, that was tough. I'd been to his wedding just six weeks before. The events had been traumatic for Lloyd, and later the same year, he moved with his family to Sycamuse. Well, when I moved to Sycamuse, there, uh, I had a station wagon, a 57 station wagon. The first time I got a call was uh, the fellow got injured getting off a train down at the CPR tracks down at the station. Despite leaving Vancouver and the tragic events there, Lloyd couldn't avoid his destiny. He soon became the volunteer ambulance driver for Sycamus. They didn't give me the siren or red light, but they gave me permission. So it was just plugged into the cigarette lighter and put the light up on the roof of the car. Uh, pretty primitive. As word got out, the community's dependence on Lloyd and his vehicle increased. Once the word gets out that I was doing, got busier and busier, and it got to the point where uh, I was scared to take our family vehicle out of town. With support from the local Kinsman Club, the town purchased an old hearse and had it converted into a dedicated ambulance. Uh, so that was our first ambulance. And it cost a total of $1,500. The service continued to grow, and Lloyd began to train volunteers from the local community to become ambulance drivers. Well, I trained the first crew of 10. Everybody was part-timer, volunteers. You know, they, they would volunteer for in a community to help a community out. In 1974, things changed in a big way. BC set a very high standard of animal service, which has been followed by uh, other provinces, states, you know, everywhere else, all over. You know. When the government decided that they would have one provincial animal service, and they took over the two biggest uh, companies in the lower mainland here and then they took over all the others in uh, through the province. Oh, I felt wonderful. I thought that was the best thing that could have ever happened to this province. Lloyd's lifelong contributions to the early founding of the ambulance service in BC are widely recognized. His work has forever shaped this province and improved emergency medical care for all British Columbians. I got eight grandchildren now, and I got uh, 14 great grandchildren. And I think it's uh, something for them, too. <laughs>